Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's try to understand voltage divider bias configuration and approximate analysis of that. And also let us solve a problem on voltage divider bias to get the operating point. Here is the question took from a exam question paper. Develop an expression for the operating point IC and VC of voltage divider bias circuit using approximate analysis. First, let us write the circuit like this. Here this circuit you can see we have a BJT which is operating as a amplifier and we are biasing this device with voltage divider bias. Here is the resistor R1 and R2. These resistors R1 and R2 making the voltage divider bias here. Through VCC we are going to get the voltage for VB by applying voltage divider rule. So we get VB voltage over here that will be the biasing voltage and then R1 and R2 we need to choose carefully to get the biasing. So now let us do the approximate analysis for the voltage divider circuit. Here you can see because of the approximate analysis I am taking IB as negligible and it is very small. And the currents if you take the total current flowing through the flowing through this network is I1. I1 will be equal to I2 plus IB. By taking IB as small we get I1 is equal to I2. It means current flowing through R1 and current flowing through R2 is same. Now, if we look at the transistor currents, the total current is IE, it will be equal to IB plus IC. And since IB is taken very small, IE become equal to IC. Now we can say IC, the collector current will be same as the emitter current. Now let us write the expression for VCC. VCC is I1 R1 plus I2 R2. So VCC becomes because of I1 and I2 are equal I1 into R1 plus R2. I am taking I1 and I2 are equal here. And we can write the expression for I1 as VCC divided by R1 plus R2 and this will be equal to I2. I1, I2 are now VCC by R1 plus R2. Now if you write the expression for VB, the voltage divider bias voltage, VB is equal to, this is VB in uh, across R2. So VB is equal to I2 R2. We can also write it as VCC into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. You can see we have an uh, expression for I2 here. I2 into R2 we need to write VCC by R1 plus R2 into R2 if you do that is our VB. And also VB can be written in terms of the voltage here. VB is equal to VB plus the emitter voltage that is VE. VB is the voltage between base and emitter and VE is the voltage of the emitter terminal through across RE. Now VB will be equal to VBE plus IC RE we can write. Why? Because IE and IC are same. Now we can get the expression through this for IC, the current flowing through the collector. IC becomes VB minus VBE divided by RE. Here is ICRE uh, to get the expression for IC we need to take this VBE to the left side VB minus VBE divided by RE is the expression for IC. Now look at this network VCC is equal to ICRC plus VCE is the voltage across collector and emitter plus IERE gives the total voltage VCC. Now by using this we can get the expression for VCE. What is VCE here? So before getting VCE, we can write it as this IC and this IE are same. So I can take it as IC as common. So RC plus RE we get. Now we can write the expression for VCE as VCC minus this term IC into RC plus RE. So this is the expression for VCE of the transistor and this is the current expression that is IC. Now let us solve the problem which they have given in the question. VCC is 10 volt, R1 is 10k, R2 is 2.2k and RC is 3.6k, RE is given as 1 kilo ohm. Let us write the given uh, parameters like this. Now let me calculate VB first. We know that VB can be written as total VCC and VB is calculating across R2. That's why R2 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2. Now if you put the values we get VB as 1.8 volts. This is the bias voltage VB is equal to 1.8 volts. 
Now let us calculate IE. So we get VE first. VE can be calculated as VB minus VBE. VBE can be assumed as 0.7 and VB is calculated as 1.8. We can take that 1.1 volt is the emitter voltage. Now we can calculate IE by using this VE. VE divided by RE, we get this IE that is 1.1 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm. RE is given as 1 kilo ohm. So we get the emitter voltage, emitter current as 1.1 milliamps. And we, we say IC will be equal to IE since IB is taken as negligible. And we can calculate the VCE now by using this expression VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC plus ICRE. Uh, but here IE and IC are equal, so IC can be taken as common. So 10 minus 1.1 milli that is IC, same as IE. RC and RE values you can put. So we get VCE is equal to 4.94 volts. And also we can calculate VC as VCE plus VE. It gives 6.04 volts. So now we need to calculate the maximum value of IC. To get the maximum value of current flowing through this, we need to take VCE as 0 in this expression. So by taking VCE as 0, we get the maximum value of IC as 2.17 milliamps. Now, by taking the values of VCE and IE as well as IC, we can write the operating point. So, in y-axis take IC, it is in milliamps. In x-axis take VCE. So, the maximum value of VCE we can get is VCC that is 10 volts. And here, in the Maximum value of IC, we calculated over here, VCC by IC plus RC, that is 2.17 milliamps. And the operating point voltage we calculated, that is VCE is equal to 4.94 volts, it will come over here. And similarly, IC we have calculated, that is 1.1 milliamps, that will come over here. So this becomes the Q point or the operating point, it will be having the coordinates 4.94 volts, 1.1 milliamps. This is how we can solve the problem on voltage divider biasing or to get the operating point in any biasing we can use the same method. Thank you.